The name of this New England town has become synonymous with witches, but how much do you know about what really happened? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're counting down the five most shocking facts about the Salem Witch Trials. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Here, we're going to attempt to shed some more light on a dark year in America's history. Salem witches are heroic examples of individualism and nonconformity. Number 5. A Fungus Was to Blame In the early spring of 1692, panic struck after two young girls began suffering hallucinations. The local doctor concluded witchcraft was to blame. The ensuing witch hunt became legendary. So what happened? It seemed to be spontaneous madness. But in the 1970s, Linda Caporeal of UC Santa Barbara made a brilliant discovery when she linked the afflicted victim's symptoms to ergot poisoning. This fungus infects rye, and a byproduct of the infection is ergotamine, basically LSD. The excessive rain of the previous summer provided perfect conditions for the fungus to grow. The affected grain has been harvested in the autumn and eaten the following spring. Not witchcraft, just a very bad trip. One more, that's up. <sighs> Number 4. Children made the most accusations. Father showed me the tracks. It was a witch. Aye. After two girls, Elizabeth Paris and Abigail Williams, took to their initial fits, many other young girls claimed to have been bewitched. One of the most aggressive accusers was 12-year-old Ann Putnam Jr. Her name appears over 400 times in the court documents of the trials, and 11 of the 19 people she accused were hanged. It seems Putnam, along with her friends, did the lion's share of accusing. And because of their age, the judges believed that they were innocent and honest, and virtually no evidence was needed to back their claims, which could include bad dreams or spectral evidence as proof. Oh, Heavenly Father, take away this torment! Number 3. The Trials Were Deeply Regretted By the end of the year, the true horror of the trials began to dawn on the small New England community. It seemed impossible to go back to normal. The shame of the murders haunted the town for years, taking more than just a psychological toll. Because the town had spent the summer engrossed in wild proceedings, harvest work had not been completed. There was less food, and their economy took a major hit. Believing that they were being punished by God, in January 1697, the Massachusetts General Court ordered a day of fasting, and the 12 jurors signed a declaration of regret, asking forgiveness. In 1706, a repentant Ann Putnam finally confessed to lying. A girl answered a math problem. You know what that means. A witch! 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 Number 2. Burning was not the standard method of execution. Uh, tell me. What do you do with witches? Actually, Sir Bedivere, in Salem, those executed for witchcraft were all hanged, with the exception of the last man, Giles Quarry. Refusing to enter a plea of guilty or not guilty, the court ordered him to be crushed with stones, a form of torture to extract a plea. The crushing took place in a field beside the courthouse. It lasted two days. When asked again for this plea a last time, he responded, Ma. Wait. and died. The gruesome death of the old man is said to be the shock that jolted the town out of its mania, and the trials were suspended thereafter. Number 1. Not only women were accused. He's a witch! Get him! No, I'm not a witch. I'm a student of human character. When most people think of a witch these days, they often think of women, old or young. But back in 1692, anyone could be accused of witchcraft, even animals. While the majority of those murdered were women, of the 19 convicted and hanged, three were men. John Willard, Samuel Wardwell, and John Proctor were all convicted of witchcraft and hanged. Another, Giles Corey, as previously noted, gave no plea and was crushed to death. Many other men and women were accused, but some escaped, evaded arrest, or died in prison awaiting trial. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.